Hey, welcome to my first dev vlog. If you're new to my channel, code Lagomorph here. By the way, in my first video that I recently uploaded in this channel, was all about the introduction how I came into this kind of field which is game development. Sorry that it is kind of odd that I didn't mention the main purpose of this channel which is to showcase my dev vlogs and minority of the videos I'm going to make are all about sharing my knowledge that I learned along the way of the game development process. Now I'm going to inform you early that only some of my dev vlogs I will demonstrate how implementation was done like this video now. I will also give referral links that might be helpful to you, just see it in the description below. Now I will ask one thing, please don't expect too much of deep tutorials that I'm going to tackle, but only I'm going to share with you the knowledge that I have acquired in the long run of the development in terms of making my whole project game. Because I'm just a new guy using game engine, pixel editor, digital audio workstation, etc. to build a game. I'm still learning along the process of the development. So I hope you will look forward to my game project until it will be published. And thanks for your consideration. By the way, I already made a video game before way back in my college days that I didn't give too much importance. But only for the sake of grade and I submitted it as a school project. It was just a casual fishing game that I made in Visual Basic platform and it was all done. But unfortunately, I cannot show you that game since it was 2017 that I made that game in our old PC that now turned into scrap. And I forgot to make a backup for that game before so sad. But anyway, I just recall that because it was one of the things that pushed me into this field of game development. Can you imagine, I already had made the game before. Because of that, I can say, I am not out of track of what career I have chosen, though I'm facing now new programming platform and new programming language. Without hesitation, I will move forward in order to achieve my goal, which is to finish and publish a game. So now, I'm going to show you my current output on my first video game project as a full-time game developer. Let us go now to my desktop after this interlude. Here in my desktop, I'm going to show you how I made the player character to move whenever you tap in the screen, it will go towards that direction and to stop whenever it reach its final target destination. By the way, my game is for mobile device and I'm going to export it on Android or maybe also in iOS to make my game playable whenever you are as long as you have Android or iOS mobile phone. What game I am developing now is a 2D top-down open-ended RPG game and I entitled the game Overcome It and it is the fixed title I came up. The game is a Christian base and the very purpose why I'm making this is to edify those who ever play this game be strengthened their faith in Jesus Christ and in God. So first I will export into PNG format the sprite animations for player character I had made. By the way, I added the sprites in LibreSprite a free and open source pixel editor software that I use because right now I don't have budget um, to buy paid software like a sprite. So for now I rely to use this tool. Anyway you can check it out and download the installer. I leave the link in the description below. Now I'm exporting the sprite to PNG format.
let us now implement this in the game engine that I use. It's called Godot, a free and open source game engine. I prefer this for you as a beginner just like me. It is uh, beginner friendly. Well, I'm just new in using game engine as I said a while ago and this is very good in my opinion and it is compact which is you can run the software right away after you extract it. Is that awesome right? I will leave also the link in the description below so you can download it. To download the Godot in their website just click the download box and then Select what version of the game engine you want to use, either standard or mono version. Mine is standard version because I am not using C Sharp programming language. For myself, I prefer to use the GDScript built in programming language of the Godot. And by the way, don't forget to scroll down and click to download the export templates for your version you have picked. And that's it. So now, as you can see, I have already installed Godot and I'm going to open it and set up my game display. Just go to project and then project settings, then find the display tab and go to the window do some customization here. Set the width, the height, resizable, put check, then set also the test width and the test height. Use VSync, leave it check. Keep screen on must be checked also. In orientation, you can pick whatever you prefer. You can do landscape. For now, I will pick landscape. But in the long run of the development, I will turn it into automatic rotatable landscape. And now, in hide home indicator, leave it check also. My mode, I chose 2D because my game is 2D. And the aspect is skip. And leave shrink to 1. Now I'm done with the display. Let us go now to the input devices tab. Then go to the pointing and I will set boot emulation to be checked and leave the touch delay to 0 0.15 now before I will import the sprite animations I will make sure first that in import in the upper tab look for the filter leaving it unchecked and making sure also it is import as texture and the preset as I click it must be 2D and clicking it again to set it as default for texture then finally re-import and by that we can now import any sprites we want with proper sprites display resolution so I'm gonna drag now the PNG format sprites to my allocating game folder so I can easily click and drag it in the Godot now go back to the game engine I'm going to make now my world node here as my root node and I'm going to make also a kinetic body 2D a child node and rename it player for my player character and save this branch as a scene now since we save it as a scene we can click this and it will create its own tab now as you can see I have two node tab here the world which is my root node and the player which is the child node of the world now in my player node tab, I can make here a child node also because a child node of the root node can also have child node even possesses more than one child node. So I will easily drag now the sprite animation here and voila! It automatically registered as a sprite node. A child node of the player. And I'm gonna rename this into M1 Idle animation for my idle animation and dragging also the other one and renaming it to m1 walking animation for my walking animation and now i will add another node called animation player and renaming it into m1 
animation player. Here is where I'm going to animate my player character in idle state and walking state.
after that I will attach now a script to the player node. I'm using the GD script programming language. Fortunately for me, I can manage to understand how to utilize this even I am new to this programming language and some people said it is related to a programming language called Python. But anyway, continue to my work. I will paste now my code that I had already made for the movement on my player character. Here, I set my speed variable, landing point for the purpose that this game is meant for mobile device, and a variable called facing direction if what direction my player character is going to face about. Now, in the input event dot in function is where the landing point is receiving the data from the user. If the user click or tap wherever in the screen, the program will receive the data and the player character will go to that certain targeted position. While in the p6 process built in function is where the flow of action is happening. And I also make two functions for the idle state and for the walking state. In idle state function, is where I can set on my player character to idle position. While in my walking state function is where I can set on my player to move. So that's it. I will try to run this and tada! It now works. That's it for the devlog plus demonstration for now. And check it out, I export it into my mobile device. See, it perfectly works. Thanks for watching. Again, it's code. Thanks for watching. Again, it's code Lagomorph. See you in my next video.